guys, so we made a cut here and the cut is no longer a factory edge. And you can't see it in the video because it's really very minor. However, there is a beveled edge on this factory cut that gives it kind of like a 45 degree angle little knockoff there. Uh, it makes it so that it's not razor sharp for one and two, it keeps it from chipping if anything does touch it. So, when we make a cut in the wet stall, we have a square edge and we want to match it to make it beveled. And to do so, we use polishing pads and they have different increments of grit. They go up to 3,000 and start at 50. 50 is a little too aggressive. That's, um, that's some serious polishing. We're going to start with 200 to shape the edge here. And then we'll clean it up by going up in increments, 800 to 1500 to 3000 if necessary. Again, we just want to match that edge safely a little bit at a time. And the grinder I'm using is variable speed. There's a little wheel here. Speed one, two, three, all the way to five. You never want to turn it up that high, especially at first. You could do some serious damage. Um, you start at one, but I can tell you right out the gates, it's a right around a two is the magic number. Can you ease into it? And I'm not putting any pressure. I'm letting the contact do the work. I'm letting the polisher do the work. I'm not pushing. If you push, you get unevenness. If you push, you increase the risk of kickback. Plus you're moving the piece around and you don't need to push, you just small amount of pressure. I have a pretty good shape. Now I'm just gonna clean it up by upping the grit to about an 800 here. Now one thing to note here is not only am I not pushing, but I'm not keeping it flat. I actually have a little bit of a tip on it. I'm gonna exaggerate it so that you can see, because the rotation of the spin is this way. It spins this direction, okay? If I push it flat, then I have force driving down and force driving up, and it can compete with the two causing this type of thing to happen which may be okay if you've got super steady hands. But I'm just giving it a little bit of a pressure in this direction. And I'm going from left to right because the rotation of my spin in this direction makes it to where I can keep an even line. And then you could also go this direction from right to left and put pressure in this direction and the spin going this way would actually cut into the face, which helps clean it up on a higher grit. I say higher grit, I mean higher than number. We'll go 1500. It's a beautiful day today. Way too nice. So now to finish this edge, I'm gonna tip it in this direction very subtle you won't see it I'm gonna go from right to left my right to left now we've created a factory edge by using power tools technology is cool thank you